So uh, let's look at another enum which we, we may have and it will have some interesting things. So let's go for an enum. Okay, so enum example. So someone says, okay, let's have an enum called season. Okay. Okay. So how do we go about it? Okay. Let's look at that. So, okay. Uh, and we would like to relate it with the months. Okay. Public enum. We have an enum called season. Okay. Okay. And what does season have? Uh, what are the seasons? List of seasons. For, uh, starting with spring, okay. summer, autumn, winter. Okay, so we have spring, summer, autumn, and winter. Okay, fine. Now, for each season, what do we have? Month. Oh, so we have a private variable. Type is month. Fine. And name of the variable can be the starting month. Okay. Fine. I'm assuming uh, there are no overlapping months now. We are distributing the months without any overlap. Okay. So there is a start month. And there is a end month. Okay. Fine. So we can have like this. Right. So what is the probable constructor here? So if we want to have a constructor for season, yeah, we can keep a private constructor. Yeah, what will it be? What will it take as parameter? Month for the start and another month for the end. And the construct anyway is simple. This dot start equal to start. Okay. And we can provide the public methods to return the month. Okay, fine. So we can have this, right? Oh, since we have a constructor which takes two parameters, which are months, so let's update the constructors here. So, yeah, spring. When does it start? Which is the start month? Yeah. Jan, Jan. Okay. Spring starts in Jan. Ends in? Uh, March. In March. Okay. Okay. Summer. So it should go up to June, I said. Okay. Well, we'll give three months to each, right? Mm -hmm. Month dot July. Okay, I think uh, fine. You can update the months uh, according to and, and your 
location may be this can depend on location also so this may change okay but the idea is yes we have distributed see here we are using month along with season okay fine we have methods like get start month end month okay now one of the requirements can be I, I give you a month and tell me what is the season right I give you a month and tell me what is the season so you would like to provide a it's not a method on any instance of the season okay when you will be I, I assume we will be also overriding the two string method to appropriately show the things okay this season is so and so and goes from this to this okay fine so uh, we would like to add a static method then to return a season for a given month yeah. okay so you are given a month and you have to return the season for the month oh, sorry method name will be get season get season for the month yeah so think about this logic now You know every season has a start and an end right you know there is a values method which can give us all the seasons so we can loop over the season okay what we will need to know is uh, given a season see for something for example here I might write like this yeah for each season in season dot values that's doing all the season objects and here what do I want to know yeah what would we like to know is that you want the month yeah. if that month happens to be in that season how do we find out if the month happens to be in that season value value of Value. Not value of value. We have a season. Uh, we are going over all the four seasons one by one, right? Yeah. We have we are given input as a month, right? That's a parameter to me, and we want to yeah. know whether this month falls in the season or not. Okay, it's like if the month falls in the season, okay, then return this season. I found the season. Otherwise, at the end, we can just say, oh, there's something wrong here. Fine. You have some month which doesn't fall in a season. Go to the next season. Check there. Yeah. So this is going to the next season. Trying each and every season. So here's going to be an if statement. Fine. Mm. So uh, we may uh, maybe I think we might need to update even the month. Okay. To uh, provide some facility here. Yeah. So we have to add separately each month, like we only mention uh -huh. January to March. Yeah, right? we, we don't want to change that aspect. Uh, yes, a season has a start and an end. Why keep a whole all the objects one by one? We, because then it will give a possibility of oh, you have one uh, picked up one. Uh, they may not be continuous that you have picked up for a season, right? No, we want that a season we understand will have continuous set of months. Okay, fine. Uh, I, 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 I'll suggest a method for the month now. Okay, given a month, mm -hmm. right? So, given a month, I'll say if month dot okay, a, a method which I'm suggesting we can go and put in the month in a uh, you know. Okay, we'll go back and put is between. Mm. Oh. Right? Oh, we would like to have a method like this, right? If this month is between, okay, uh, season dot start, comma, season dot end. Yeah? 
So we need a method called is between in the season, not in the month, right? Which will be taking two other months and it will say whether it falls between that or not. And return on your Boolean value and then if it falls in the season and so I'm depending on that method on month. Yes, we still have to go back and put that method in the enum called month. And here what we can do is say, okay, let's return the season, right? Yeah. And otherwise, what do we do here? Yeah. Go to the next season. Yeah. Okay. Throw. No, this is going to the next season. That's already oh, happening. Okay. Well, There's a for loop. Okay. But it has, you didn't find a season where this month falls. Then I think better to throw. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, oh, we need to uh, develop our own class. Some uh, exception class for this. Okay. Maybe each time you will not be interested in developing a class like this, right? Okay, so we do have some, we can use some of the exception classes which are in the library. Okay, uh, for example, uh, I, I don't think it's usable here, but many times we do a check on the input, right? Whatever, any, any parameter, if there is any parameter which is not in a legal range, okay, fine. So, in such case, we will say illegal argument exception. That's not applicable to this one. I'm just giving you some exception class names. Okay. This is not going to be applicable here. Uh, if the state, uh, there is some another one called illegal state exception. So, these are some things like, oh, uh, uh, there are certain things for our account class. And it cannot, suppose we, uh, we don't allow a negative balance for the account. Right. Fine. So, if or if it is in the negative state, okay, if the account is negative and someone is trying any kind of an operation other than a deposit, okay, I would like to throw a illegal state exception. Okay, the state is illegal. So, we have a few ready-made uh, classes, uh, exception classes also. Fine. And if uh, nothing suits, we can still go ahead and say, okay, let me just throw a new runtime exception. Okay, we do take this uh, rather than, okay, going back and creating one more exception class. Okay, you can just say, okay, let me create a new runtime exception. Fine. Uh, okay. Okay, something like this. Okay. Right, so always uh, see to it that if you find something is wrong, fail it. Okay. Fine. Don't be afraid of throwing. Just throw it. Yes. Okay. Fine. Rather than just saying, okay, let me return a null. Yeah. More commonly, when people will just say, okay, let's return a null. Oh, we don't find any season like this. So, we are returning a null. So I'm just showing you different things people may do. Okay. Fine. But yes, this is also a good idea. Just throw it. Let him know. This, because we understand this is something which should not happen. Right. Okay. Now, the interesting part is this method, right? So we need to go back to the inner month and add a method called is between. Okay. Fine, let's go back and add this method. Okay. So, yeah, this is the month enum and we are going to add a method to this, right? Okay, what's the method we are having? A public method 
which returns boolean method name is is between so that means the current month right on which the method is evoked is between month okay that's a start you can say and another month which is the end month okay yeah okay so now this is also another thing what's the logic for this now yeah is between When? See so here what we have done is we have just uh, uh, showing that yes, uh, uh, enum is like any other type and uh, season and month, yes, they are having some kind of a relationship. Okay, and so in the enum for season, I may be using the enum for month. Okay, we are just doing that kind of an exercise where we use a enum in another enum. Okay, because we are finding some kind of relation. Okay, but yes, uh, we cannot have an inheritance relationship between the enums. And we can't say oh, this enum extends from another enum. And we can make use of the enums. And, but each enum always is inheriting from the class called enum. Okay, yeah. So, can you think on this? I leave it as an exercise. Inter yeah, okay. Do you mean inter perfect? Huh? Can you use the if 0, 1, 2 will be the. the you may use the uh, ordinal. It, it, they are comparable, right? They are comparable yeah. anyway. So, you can use the yes. compare to. Okay. Hmm. If two string has been overridden here. Okay, uh, I, I'll give you one more thing which you have to take care of here. Okay, and so take care of a case where we have something like, uh, okay, someone giving, uh, uh, so if someone says, I have this month of December, right? Okay, and someone says, okay, let me say December dot is between. And if it gives me the month of October and gives me the month yeah. of February, okay, oh, this should be true. This should turn out to be true. Even across seasons. Yeah. Okay. So it's a round, you know, circular thing. Okay, when so to take care of this, right? That's another thing which I was indicating. Yeah. Okay, so I'll leave it as an exercise. Yes, sir. Which I try. We, I don't know others, okay. Yeah. Fine, is between. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fine. Uh, okay, or should I give you some guidelines how, how uh, to think about it? See, it's like this. Okay. Uh, let's say this is the line which you have, and we have got the month. Uh, right? So this is like uh, Jan to December. Okay. Fine. Someone gives up a so someone is giving us as input. Two months, right? Okay. So, so, if someone is giving a month, which is this is a start month, this is the end month. Fine. So, this is in line where the start is less uh, less than the end. If start is less than the end, 
in that case start if we will have it inclusive on both sides start it has to be greater than start as well as it is a end condition right? as well as it has to be less than the end and if the current month is greater than start or equal to greater than equal to start and less than equal to end okay but that is the case which is acceptable in case start happens to be less than end fine the other case would be what's the other case okay, yeah. between december and march something like okay. end is so this is fine from jan to december okay but what has been given is a case where you have start is here and end is on this side okay if the start happens to be here and the end happens to be here when this was start is here okay this is your start and this is your end okay fine so when the start is less than end the condition is greater than equal to start as well as end less than equal to end okay whereas in this case what's the condition now what's your condition it has to be greater than start anything greater than start or it is anything which is less than end okay then when it is from start and onwards up to the end right that's all acceptable as well as anything which comes before end here the condition will be or okay fine okay fine so uh, let's think of this so can we finish it then now yes please okay then this is clear right so it all depends on start and end okay the real first we have to check the relation between start and end so so it will be like uh, start dot compare to end okay start dot compare to end uh, is less than zero in this end are comparable right right in that case yes in that case here what's the first expression then we'll have colon and the second expression what do we return? I am using the ternary operator, right? And the logic is different for this case, and there is a different value for the other case. So, what do we return here? This is the current month on which the object, uh, and this dot compared to, yeah, which one? compared to start okay so current month has to be greater than or equal to zero fine so current month is greater than or equal to the start right and this dot compared to and is less than or equal to zero okay put a colon here and i can have the other way around the check for the other one when this is a boolean value i'm returning here. okay what's the other one this dot compared to start is to be greater than or equal to zero or or this dot compared to end less than or equal to zero 
<laughs> it's just a condition and then all that changes. Hmm. Sir, I could not have done this as a homework. Yeah. Thank you for doing it. Yeah. Okay. And so with this, yes, we can now have a fine. See, clear. Uh, I mean, the idea is you should be able to think, oh, what is my requirement? Oh, I need to be checking in between. So fine, if I don't have a method, let's go and add that. Fine, we should have such a method, right? It's a useful method. Sir, so, it's like in line number 34, the question mark about colon No, 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 no. Colon is in line number 35. Yeah, yeah, this is the point. Okay. That's a colon. And here is the semicolon. Yeah, oh, so sorry, I forgot one important statement that's return. <laughs> it has to be returned this way. Return. Fine. Here is the condition check okay and here are the boolean expressions okay yeah. okay fine uh, okay so let's compile and check this code first thing is mm -hmm. we should be checking so this is one oh, we still have to uh, I think I have put uh, it only in the text form, but I have to put it in the Java file season thing so that yes, mm. we can try the class for the enum for season also. Okay. So let's try this. So first is, oh, we'll first just compile the month and check whether the thing is correct or not. Uh, we are not testing the correctness of the method yet but syntax wise just okay that it is correct or not okay. and, and then we'll go back to so first thing let's try here compiling the month dot java again okay you have the util and there we have the month dot java okay so is between is fine okay we haven't tested though uh, and yeah, we will get it tested in the enum for the season, okay. So this is, okay, let's have one more file. Fine, this is where we will have the definition for season. So this is, let's keep the same package. And okay, let's copy the definition which we have done for the season. Okay. Uh, this uh, here, this is what we have done. Okay, a season has a start month and a end month, right? And here is a list of seasons. We have get methods to get those start month and the end month, and we have a get season method. Okay, uh, we can add a public static void main over here. And what do we have in this? Right. Take as command line argument a month and it has to return what season it is. Okay, so we'll be testing out the get season method. Okay, and okay, of course, uh, we would like to also override the two string method, right?
Yeah. Okay. So yeah, what do we return here? We'll say get class dot get simple name. Oops. Yeah. Okay. Plus, so it will just say season and then let's put a colon. Okay. And we would like to give the start month and the end month, right? Or, okay. Uh, here we can say starts or yeah first should be the name yeah okay season and name of the season first yeah so okay it will be all capitals let it be okay and if you want you can write some method to make it a proper case Season this from plus uh, start sorry, plus start dot name. Okay, we are only interested in the uh, start dot get full name. End dot get full name. Yeah, I think uh, that should work. Okay, we'll have season dot Java here. Okay, let's compile now. Okay, mean is still pending. Okay, sorry. Achha, oh, oh, we, ja, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Main, so, main. Yeah. Main. So, uh, first will be, so string, okay, month name equals args of zero dot to uppercase. Okay. So that's a month name, three letter month name will be given. And uh, from that, yes, we would like to print the season. How do we do that? So we'll say month is equal to month dot value of and month name. That way you get the month object. Okay. And given a month object, we have the season is equal to season dot Very well. get season get season okay. get season for the given month okay and then you want you can just print the season when the two string method of season would work okay Right, simple main method. So there is nothing simple about it. Sorry. Yes. Get backslash season dot Java. Okay. And let's run the code. And it is util dot season. Right. And yeah, pass any three letter for the month. April. Okay. Very so summer nice. from rest of us. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Fine, we could tie other months. Okay. October. Okay. 
Yeah, winter no, from no, no. October to December. Winter to Okay. Well, I have a question about get full name. This is user, this is Java defined, right? We're using this from the string library or something. This Up, open import kya hai? Which one? Uh, I didn't get, sorry. Which one you are talking about? <laughs> Get full name. Ah, get full name. We, we had used that method, uh, we have put that method in the uh, okay. month. We have month. it in the month. Yes, we have it in the month. Please, please show that. Full name and the star. Get See, full the, name. The idea was this the, uh, we have three letters, right? So we passed as parameter in the constructor, we passed oh. the full name as parameter, oh. and that's what is a uh, variable over here. Okay, so th this we had done yesterday. Uh -huh. Okay, and then uh, here is the method called get full name. Get full. Okay. Okay. Okay, understood. Okay, fine. So, fine. So that should be clear. Fine. Still, we may have more questions with the enum. Any more questions? Any questions with the enum? So, enum ko use karke hum world ki different blocks kar sakte hai na. Uh, <laughs> the time difference is more complicated hoga. Meaning each time zone has a different time. Yeah. yeah. I, I don't know how to do it, but because you all them just for closing this. Yeah. Ok